during the preparation of our current budget, which was earlier this year, we committed to, the council committed to a flow chart, which included a flex team. The flex team purpose is to link drug race thefts and drugs together and combat them. And by the way, we're having a real successful year, and there's plenty of evidence to show that. Recently, office space has been offered to us at the airport. If we take that office space, which we could really use, it would house two detectives, the flex team, and officers who work in that zone can come by 24 hours a day to use computers to write reports, to use restrooms, to freshen up, to provide security, to do whatever they do. Um, and so I'm recommending that we take that office space. It's gonna cost us less than 3,000, but exactly how much I don't know. For us to go in and do all the, the things we need to do in the way of Furniture, preparations, wiring, computers, linking all the phone and apparatus, those kind of things. And that's an unbudgeted sum. I may be able to help with some of that out of my current budget in some <coughs> savings, but there's no guarantee of that. So I want to make you aware of that up front. So a budget amendment is involved. Do I hear a motion on this discussion? I'll make that motion for to amend the budget for three thousand dollars is to for an office space with Crossville Memorial Airport for the Crossville Police Department. Did I hear a second? I'll second that. I have a second. Any discussion? This is not a budget amendment yet, is it? Is it? Yeah, be first we will approve the plan and approve the budget amendment on first reading. All the same time. Yes. Any other questions or comments? There being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Thanks, sir. Whoops. <laughs> Next item on the agenda is a discussion and action of part time administration assistant. Please, Mr. <clears throat> The police department is currently going through many changes. One of them is the Tennessee State Accreditation process. Uh, we began a few months ago. We're right on schedule with the state of Tennessee. But to help us move that along quickly, we would like to add a part-time person to our staff to work with that and planning and research and help improve our data-driven processes. We have very much in the last 11 months become a data-driven agency as we're fighting crime and linking our budgeting process to our, our operational processes. So to do that, we'd like to have that part-time person that work approximately 20 hours a week at a salary of around $14 an hour. So we're talking about, I think, $10,000 to $12,000. We have checked with our budget director. We actually have those dollars currently in our funding, so it won't require additional funding. Do I have a motion in reference to the part-time position? So moved. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second on approval of the additional part-time administrative assistant for the police department. Are there any other questions or concerns? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the Chief's agenda. <laughs> and last, uh, we're currently sitting at 41 sworn positions and three civilian and now one part-time person. But um, we did budget last year for one additional person because one of our members had left and gone in the military. But that person has now come back but those additional dollars were still sitting in our, in our budget. What we'd like to do is hire the next person that is on our list, and so we can get them in the police academy for training starting January. The reason that we're doing this is because we have information that makes us believe one of our full-time members will be leaving, and more recently, as this week, I heard that he'll be leaving in February. I do not have his resignation yet, but if he does not resign, we still have the funding for this person to get into trade. Everybody left on our list is not sworn. So as we hire people, we'll have to send them to the academy right now. 
How long does it take to compete or complete? They'll take three months to get through the academy and another few months to get through field training. So if they go through in January, they'll be available to us in July. Okay. Have the phone. Yes. At the next workshop, so when you put on the workshop, put put on their retention of police officers. Would you would you please give us a brief on the retention? of your officers and how we're losing them and what we might be able to do to retain the next little shop, please. I'll be happy to do that. Do I hear a motion in reference to this additional full-time trainee? So moved. A motion to have a second. I'll second. A motion and a second. Any further discussion or questions? There being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you very much. I think you're through.